two images, a warrior in battle and a woman in labor, are specifically chosen by God to describe himself to us. These are somewhat common images. Many people know what it is to fight in a battle and many women know what it is like to give birth. The reason that God uses these images is to point us to Jesus, which is why so many of the images in scripture are given. The image of a warrior in battle and a woman in labor, it is these pictures that Isaiah uses to convey to us the final battle that Christ has fought and won for us. And both these images and the final battle of Christ involve cries. One thing that I hope you will remember above all else from this message is this, that God will fight for you. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a mighty warrior that will take up the battle cry for you. He's in this fight for you. That the Son of God is fighting for you should tell you that this fight is not an easy one. It takes the Son of God to fight it. It takes the Son of God to overcome the enemy that causes the cry of pain and hardship that is depicted by childbirth. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, goes to battle for you. And here's a hard truth. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, goes to battle because of you. Your sin is the reason this battle is fought. You came into this world conceived in sin, as the psalmist writes in Psalm 51. And King David, speaking for all of us, said, For I was guilty from the day I was born, a sinner, from the time my mother became pregnant with me. Jesus fights the battle, goes to war with Satan because of our original sin, but he also fights because of the actual sins we commit every day since our mother's cries at our birth. The sins, putting anything else is more important than God, misusing the name of God, not using his word or the opportunities to worship with other followers of Jesus, not honoring our parents or others in authority over us, hating others, lusting after others, stealing from others, not speaking well of others, not being content with what you have. Jesus goes to the cross to overcome all your sin. Jesus goes to the cross for you. Please remember that, if nothing else, from this message. Jesus goes to the cross for you.